Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, you know, we're going to be doing my top five favorite bass fishing baits slash lures of all time because it currently looks like this outside. Alright, so number one, probably my most favorite bait ever is, you know, a simple Texas rig. That's what you do. Pretty sure y'all know what Texas rig is, but you know, for those that don't, that's all you need. A little bullet weight and some offset hook or something like that. That's all you need to make the Texas rig. Or so what it looks like on a rod, you know, you put the weight like this and it's a little able to slide, you know. I tie a Palomar knot onto it, you can do whatever knot you want. And then, you know, this is a Texas rig. And I mostly use it, you know, to get through some nice weed patches you see or to finesse under docks, you know. I really just use it everywhere, to be honest. Any time of the year, anywhere, that's why I use it. It catches me fish, so, yeah. All right, number two on this list for my top five favorite fishing baits is the Ned Rig. This is the Z-Man one. It is broke. And we have this other, like, off-brand one. Because, you know, we're kind of on the Ned Rig, so we're going to have to buy some more. You know, oh, here's a good one. My bad. So you just get a little Z-Man worm. Z-Mans are always all together in the store, so you know, you find it. It's a little small presentation. Catches a lot of dinks, but it catches a lot of fish as well. It also catches big fish too. Don't want to underestimate it. Kevin caught his PB on the Ned Rig, and I caught a monster pike at Kensington with a Ned Rig, but you know, Kevin failed the landing, so kind of sucked. But anyways. And I catch dinks on the Ned Rig. Have you ever thrown a bait besides the Ned Rig? Let's be real here. Okay, no answer. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, that is number two on this list. Woo Alright, so number three on my list is a swim bait jig. It's very much like the Ned Rig. It's a more small presentation. But this imitates a little bait fish, a shiner or something, you know. You know how it goes. So it catches me a lot of bass. Big, small, you know, all different sizes. But anyways, it's just really good for when you see a bunch of bait fish swimming around, you know, you want to imitate that, match the hatch, you know how it is. But, you know, I use this bait a ton in the summer for finessing under docks. And, yeah, so that's why it earns number three spot on this list. Number four, the first moving bait, not a finesse. The lipless crank bait, you know, this bait, this bait it's caught me plenty of fish over the year. It was actually one of the first lures I ever used was about three years ago, I believe. <laughs> Funny fact, when I first used a crankbait and I caught a fish on it, I just absolutely loved them, and I never put this down for an entire year. I used, this is the only bait I used all year, and it was red like this, but not the same one. I lost it. And I actually caught two bass on the same crankbait once before I started filming when I fished, so I didn't get that in video or picture, but it was pretty sick. Anyways, I just love me this. Some good lipless crankbaits they get through grass and weeds fairly well <clears throat> and it's just good for moving around covering a lot of area you know when it's a tough bite so yeah that's why it reaches number four on my list let's go on to number five <laughs> last but not least on this list is chatterbaits i got this one nice natural color for when it's clear water and we got the nice black and blue one for when it's murkier which you know i fairly use this more because Usually when it's windy, which is when it's a good time to throw these because they vibrate in the water, you know, it's windy. So I usually use this because when it's windy, it's usually murkier water. But I do use this sometimes. But these are just great for wind. They get through grass and weeds very easily. And once again, you cover a lot of area with it, catch a lot of bass on it. And I just love throwing these things. So yeah, gets earned that's number five spot on the list. Hope you guys enjoyed this video about my top five favorite fishing baits hope you learned something too you know trying to inform you guys all that i know about fishing which is not a ton considering i only fish in the summer mainly but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on and as always stay tuned for next time on Bass <laughs>